This video presents the Common Petrophysical Properties panel in the Compositional Palette in version 4 of 3D UTEP Wells. Rock class refers to the equations used for specific rock models, specifically if it is a clean sand layer or one that is shelly sand. Opening the Edit Rock Classes editor presents a window where six of Archie's family equations are available as seen in this pull-down menu. Also in this panel is Timor's equation family related to permeability. The lower portion of this panel presents the equation for each specific rock class. The default here is Archie's equation. Clicking on the button with the three dots gives additional information about the equation and the condition that it may be used. Choosing another equation from the drop-down menu, such as Waxman Smiths, the equation is shown, and when I click on the button with the three dots, another window is opened with expanded information about the equation. Now let's turn our attention to the top portion of the rock class editor. Here we specify any number of rock classes we want to use. However, we always have a class name default that will be used for any petrophysical layer where the rock class has not been specified explicitly. The default equation is Archie's. This defines the method used for the specific rock class. We use the rock class pull-down menu. The other five could also be used as default. Or if one has multiple layers with different rock classes, it is possible to add and rename them using the following method. Suppose that three classes are added. Class 1 equals Archie's. Class 2 equals Archie's A1.1. And Class 3 equals Waxman Smith's. If I save this and go back to the common petrophysical properties and use the rock class pull-down menu, I will see the newly defined classes default, class 1, 2, and 3. These may be renamed to make it easier to know which rock class each one represents. This may be done by opening up the editor and change the names to fit the class, such as Archie A1, Archie A1.1, and class 3 equals Waxman Smiths. Now it is easier to know which rock class you would assign to a specific petrophysical layer and use that rock class or modified rock class in the calculations. In the common petrophysical properties panel, adjustments may be also made to the total interconnected porosity isolated porosity, irreducible water saturation, and irreducible hydrocarbon saturation. If you choose to look at non-shale instead of total, then changes are made. In the common, it goes to interconnected, non-shale porosity. In the blue area below, water saturation is non-shale interconnected. The two icons, solid component editor and fluid component editor, are tables that represent the information for the solid and fluid components. Opening the solid component editor initially only shows those components that are being used in the earth model. By unchecking this box, we'll open the table which represents all the minerals available. The properties shown are values used in a calculation in the tools for nuclear values, sonic, and NMR, plus other tools. If a compound is not available here, it may be added, and you will need a name and a formula. Then you will need to fill in the table with values for density, potassium, thorium, uranium, and other information for the calculations to be correct. The same is for the fluid component properties. 
Again, when open, it only shows those that are presently being used and can display the full table plus a new compound may be added. Again, all the correct values need to be added for the calculations to be correct. The last two properties specified in the common petrophysical properties panel are the wettability and the pore size distribution. These properties are used when calculating NMR distribution using the petrophysical calculator, which is explained in a separate video. This is the end of the video, and there are other videos explaining other tools for 3D UTAP wells. Thank you for your time.